Chief Minister Digambar Kamat, who is also the Finance Minister, presented a budget with a deficit of around Rs. 1,323.88 crore for the financial year 2011-2012 in the Legislative Assembly on Thursday. The plan outlay is Rs. 8,022.19 crore, while the estimated receipts are Rs. 6,698.31. The plan also envisages a growth rate of 15% for 2011-2012. I expect the GSDP growth rate to be in the vicinity of 14 to 15 percent even for the year 2010-11. And further, I am hopeful that the economy will not look back and achieve a respectable growth of 15 percent during the next fiscal year 2011-12. The revenue receipts are estimated to be Rs 5,061.39 crores as against 4,661.14 crores revised estimates of 2010-11. For the same period, the revenue expenditure is estimated to grow from Rs. 4,335.64 crores to Rs. 5,233.42 crores. The revenue deficit is estimated to be Rs. 172.03 crores and the fiscal deficit is estimated to be Rs. 707.28 crores. Cigarettes, petrol, diesel, LPG, liquor, luxury cars and homes to cost more. Water tariff hiked for high consumers. Luxury tax reduced on hotels and theatres. Monthly pension scheme for unorganized sector of Rs. 2000 per month after 60 years proposed. Food security bill envisaged. Goa open school for dropouts proposed. Rs. 500 crore to mitigate problems in mining areas. Special focus on girl child. Many laptops for 11th and 12th students. Helicopter services to promote hinterland tourism. Budget provision Rs. 50 crore for unemployment subsistence allowance of maximum Rs. 1,200 for three years. Goa based power plant in Goa. Amendment to Goa Stamp Act for the renewal of subsisting mining lease. I propose to involve self-help groups in cultivation of vegetables. For this purpose, I propose to provide a one-time grant of Rs. 80,000 per hectare to all such self-help groups to encourage them to take on vegetable cultivation in a big way. The grant will include expenditures towards seeds, fertilizers, water pump, pipeline, fencing, etc. I am providing Rs. 200 lakhs for the same. Further. The increased subsidies on modern agriculture machinery from 50% to 70% have helped farmers to adopt modern implements and machines and reduce dependence on manual labor. To give further impetus to the agricultural growth, I propose to unify the subsidy rates on farm equipments and place them at 75% of the implements. I have made a budget provision of 750 lakhs. In an effort to keep the growth momentum in agriculture sector going on, I propose to increase the support price for coconut from present rupees 5 to rupees 6 while keeping the number of eligible coconuts unchanged. I propose to provide 75% subsidy on the fungicides at source to the growers of areca nut subject to a maximum of rupees 8000. In order to increase the vegetable production in the state and assured market for them, I intend to put in place a system of procurement of vegetable from farmer's place at pre-fixed prices and sell them at subsidized prices. For this purpose, I am making a provision of Rs 10 crores in the budget 2011-12. I therefore propose three chief minister awards for the farmers in agriculture and horticulture to be given to the self-cultivating farmer. The awards will be Krishi Ratna which will carry a cash prize of Rs 2 lakhs along with a citation, Krishi Vibhushan 
which will carry a cash price of rupees 1 lakh along with citation and Krishi Bhushan which will carry a cash price of rupees 50,000 along with citation. A provision of 3.50 lakhs has been made in the budget 2011-12. I propose to encourage the farmers to take up poultry farming on a small scale. For this purpose, I propose to provide a cash subsidy of rupees 1,500 for purchase of 100 birds and a cage during the year 2011-12. For this purpose, I have made a provision of rupees 200 lakhs. The farmer shall be encouraged to breed local cows and I propose to provide a 50% subsidy on the fodder to take care of the local breed cows. A provision of rupees 500 lakhs has been made in the budget. Increase the subsidy on kerosene from present rupees 18,000 to rupees 30,000. Increase in subsidy on outboard motors from rupees 20,000 to 40,000. Increase in subsidy for purchasing the fishing nets from rupees 8,000 to rupees 20,000. A traditional fisherman will be entitled to avail the subsidy on purchase of nets at least twice in the lifetime. Opposition leader Manohar Parakar has expressed dissatisfaction over the budget 2011-2012. Mining, luxury tax has gone up again to 12 to 12%. Liquor is being allowed everywhere. You pay some money, you take a license. If, if, if there is slight drop in prices by $10, the export will be impacted by 20% of this budget the college. Because no substance in the budget, no growth orientation in the budget. This is naturally happening with contribution from government. I consider this budget to be of very poor quality.